Hello everyone, in this video, I will discuss about the classification of the tumors of thyroid gland. Now, the thyroid uh, tumors, they are classified into two groups, benign and malignant tumors. Now, uh, about the benign tumors, now almost all benign tumors of thyroid, they arise from the glandular epithelium and they are termed as adenomas. Now, these adenomas, uh, they are present as solitary nodules mostly and adenoma by itself rarely cause any hyperthyroidism, okay. And in, in your scintigraphy also, you will find very less uptake or colder nodule, okay. And toxic adenoma, uh, you can say is a part of toxic nodular goiter rather than a true neoplasm. Now, uh, when I talk about the histological evidences of benign tumors, okay. Now, the histologic evidences of capsular invasion or angio invasion is the only reliable method to distinguish between follicular adenoma and follicular carcinoma. So, in your follicular carcinoma, you will find capsular invasion as well as angio invasion, okay. And if it is absent, then it is your follicular adenoma. Now, there is one variant which is Herzl cell adenoma. Now, this variant of follicular adenoma is composed entirely of large acidophilic granular cells, popularly known as Herzl cells. Okay, and this uh, Herzl cell adenoma it does not show any follicles formation. Okay, that is important. First, you should know that it's a variant of follicular adenoma. Okay, then uh, it does not show any follicle formation. Now about the malignant tumors, the thyroid is unique because it is the only gland where the malignant tumors occur in children, young age, middle age, old age and in both sexes. Okay, So these tumors they can spread by all possible routes. You will find local invasion also lymphatic spread as well as blood spread. Now, thyroid is the only endocrine gland where the malignant tumors are usually non-functional. Okay, so you hardly uh, see any hyperthyroid state. So, the malignant thyroid tumors, they are classified as follicular and parafollicular cell origin. Okay, and then the third category is non-thyroid cell origin. Now, in follicular, you have differentiated and undifferentiated types. Now, in undifferentiated, you have anaplastic carcinoma. In differentiated, you have papillary, follicular and mixed variety. Okay, so three uh, are present in your follicular cell origin. One uh, is Parafollicular cell origin that is your medullary carcinoma. Parafollicular means near to follicular cells, okay, cells which are present around your follicular cells. These are parafollicular cells and they uh, produce calcitonin, okay. So, medullary carcinoma is from the parafollicular cells, okay. Then you have non thyroid cell origin as well, and these include your malignant lymphomas, sarcomas, and metastatic carcinomas. Now, uh, the most common type, okay. So, the most common is your papillary carcinoma. Very frequently asked question in your entrance exam. The percentage is 60 to 65. Second common is your follicular carcinoma and its uh, presence is 15 to 20 percent. Third is your medullary carcinoma, 10 percent of patients. Then anaplastic carcinoma which is very, very rare and lymphoma around 1%, okay. So, most frequently asked questions are which is the most common and which is the least common. So, anaplastic is your rare variety whereas papillary is your most common variety of thyroid carcinoma. Now, the most common site of metastasis is your breast followed by lungs, okay. And the mode of spread of carcinoma is papillary is spread by lymphatic root, follicular spread by hematogenous root, your medullary carcinoma spread by both lymphatic as well as hematogenous root, 
anaplastic spread by direct evolution. So you all three, uh, you can see here all the three, okay, lymphatic, hematogenous as well as direct evolution, okay. So the papillary carcinoma, here the most common site of metastasis is lungs, in follicular it is bones, in medullary it is liver and anaplastic again it is lung, okay. You can relate it with the type of spread. So, lymphatic spread commonly goes to your lungs, hematogenous to bones, okay. Medullary uh, is a mixed type and it, its most common site is liver, anaplastic again lung is the common site, okay. So, again you can see here papillary, lungs, follicular, bones, medullary carcinoma, liver and anaplastic in lungs. Okay, so now let's discuss the risk, uh, low risk and high risk category people. Okay, who have low risk and who have high risk of developing CA thyroid. And if it is present, uh, if this classification helps you uh, about the severity also. Okay, in which patients you will have severe uh, lesion and in which you have slightly less severe. Okay, so. Now this classification usually uh, can be remembered as AIMS classification or AGES classification. Okay, it, hel it helps you in including everything. So A here stands for age, M is for metastasis, S is for size, G is for grade, and E is for extent. Okay, so if the age is less than 40, if any person is suffering from carcinoma thyroid and his age is less than 40, then you can say it is a low risk patient, okay. High risk category are one who have age more than 40 years, okay. So next is the metastasis, uh, low risk are one where no metastasis is present and if there is regional or distant metastasis is there, then it is a high risk category. Size again. If the size is less than 4 cm, it is low risk category. If it is more than 4 cm, it is high risk category. If the tumor is well differentiated, then it is low risk category. And if it is poorly differentiated, then it is high risk category. Now, extent. If there is no local extension, okay, uh, no intrathyroid and no capsular invasion. Okay, if there is no local invasion or no intrathyroid uh, spread or no capsular invasion then it's a low category case okay and if it is present uh, so capsular invasion is there okay if extra thyroid involvement is there okay then you can say it's a high risk category now uh, these are the basics of your uh, thyroid cancers okay so i hope it's clear bye